In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this isometric room and set up the stylized lighting. This is a style I have been seeing used a lot in these kinds of rooms recently, and I want to show you how to replicate it. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just make our low poly scene. Um, so we are going to go and tab into edit mode and just delete these front three faces. So X and delete faces. Now we are going to go and add a modifier and solidify modifier. Set this thickness to negative 0.1. And then we are going to check even thickness and then apply that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is just apply some or add some texture to our little room and we're just going to add some vertical boards. So select these two faces here, hit shift H and hide everything else. And then we're going to add some vertical loop cuts. So control R, then eight, then enter, then right click. Control R, eight, enter, right click. Okay. Now that we have those selected, um, we're going to select again these other ones using circle select, so C. And then once we have all those selected, making sure not to select this edge or these two edges, we're going to hit Control B and bevel those. And just a small amount should do just fine. Something like this. Now we're going to hit Alt E and extrude faces along normals. And then we're going to bring this down so that they're extruding out a little bit. I'm also going to hit S and Z just to scale those down vertically a little bit. Now we have this looking pretty good. Tap back into edit mode. We can hit Alt H to unhide or yeah, unhide everything else. Now we're going to add our window. So add a plane, go into front view, tab into edit mode, RX 90. Then we're going to scale it down and then scale it up on the Z axis to something like that. Okay. Now we're going to bring it back. So G and Y and just set it up to something like there where it's not touching the wall and but it's not too far away from it okay now tab into edit mode go in front view control r to add a loop cut and then we're gonna hit a and then i and then i again to inset individual faces now we're gonna hit p to separate those inner faces and then we're going to select that um those window panes we're going to go into edit mode hit a period individual origins and then we're going to hit s to scale those up just a little bit period again to go back to median point now i'm going to extrude these back like that and then for the window we're going to also extrude back but we're going to do this a little more carefully so go into top view and then i'm just going to extrude it so it's just barely going past the wall okay now for these blocks, we are going or for the window panes. We are going to use this as a Boolean. So I'm going to be using bool tool, um, which comes with blender. You just have to enable it. So in your preferences, search for bool tool and just enable that. So with our window pane selected, we're going to shift select our room and hit control shift B and then brush Boolean difference. And now we have this. We can move this forward again, just to make sure we're not getting any fighting. Okay, now that we have that done, we are going to add in our light ray plane. So let's add in a plane. We're going to bring this up so that the it's level with the top of this window frame or the top of this window pane here. And then we're going to tab into edit mode, edge select, S to scale this down to fit inside the window frame. It also looks like we can bring this up a little bit. And then for this, we're going to bring this down and in. We can kind of go into side view here and just position this how we want it and then scale that down as well. This is going to be the general shape of the light ray. So just mess with it until you get what you want. Okay, now we're going to add a light. We're actually just going to delete this default light and we're going to add in a new light. It's going to be an area light and then hit G. Z to bring it up and scale it up. And then we are going to set the power to 200 watts. Okay, now we're going to go into shading view. It might take a second. And we're going to go into um, shader. Into viewport shading, that's what it's called. Okay, now we are going to shade these other parts. So I'm going to hide this light thing that's getting in the way. And for this, we're going to call this room and we're going to make it a greenish color uh, something like that 
And then for this window pane, I'm going to call it window. And we are going to make this blue. Okay. Now we can hit Alt H to unhide this. And we're going to make a new material, call it light ray. And we're going to delete this principle BSDF. The, the first thing we're going to add in is a gradient texture. And then we can control shift click onto that. You can see what we're getting is this gradient. It's not quite how we're going to want it. So select the gradient texture, hit control T. And that gives us this mapping setup. And we're going to change the site from vent generate the texture coordinate from generated to UV. Okay. Now you can see the black is going all the way along this side, but we want it to go along this side up here. So go to UV editing and then bring this over so that we have our shader option. And what we're going to do is hit A here to select every, all the, our geometry. And then over here, you can see we get this face. If we hit A over here, then we can now hit R and we can rotate this how we want. So we want to rotate it down this way. So what we want is negative 90, negative 90. And there you go. We have our, oops, we want our 180. We want it, the black to be up there. Okay. Now that we have the black up there, we can use it to mix together an emission shader and a transparent BSDF. Okay, control shift, right click, drag, and now we can plug that mix shader into the material output. And you can see nothing's happening right now, and that's a few reasons. First, when you plug this gradient texture into the factor, Still nothing's happening, and to fix that, we have to go into our settings. So go to the Material tab, and then Settings. We're going to change um, this to Blend Mode to Alpha Blend, and our Shadow Mode to None. And there you go. You can see we are getting our effect. Now, to make a few more changes, we're going to change the Gradient Texture to Easing, and it seems to give it a little bit better of a feel. And then we're going to bring this back, and we're going to add in a mix shader or mix rgb excuse me and we're going to put that there and when we change this color to white you can see what it's doing is making this more transparent or less transparent so you can drag the slider when it's at zero it'll be back to how it was before and once at one it'll be all the way transparent so just in between there somewhere you can make the call if you, it helps you can turn off overlays and then you can get a better feel for what you're going to be looking at in the final render. I'm going to go something like this and then bring overlays back and what we're going to do is extrude down these front two edges. So these two edges we're just going to hit E and Z and extrude them down the length of the window. Okay now you just have a little bit more of a light right there. And last I'm just going to shift D duplicate this whole thing and just bring it down for the second window pane. And there you go, we've finished our little low poly scene. I hope you learned about creating and lighting an isometric room in this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.